The normal or physiological way of breathing is through your nose. Breathing through the nose permits to purify the air by the structures inside the nasal cavity. In that way, the air entering into your naso and oropharynx, your throat, is not going to heavily affect the lymphoid tissue in the adenoids and tonsils, which is the last barrier to catch harmful particles in the air before it reaches your lungs. Besides clearing the air from harmful particles, nasal breathing stimulates the production of gases and substances in the nose, which are going to facilitate the entrance of the air in the lungs and prevent infection in your respiratory system. Mouth breathing allows the air to pass directly into your throat, where the adenoids and tonsils are located. In that way, the air entering into your body through your mouth has not previously been purified and the lymphoid tissue in the adenoids and tonsils become the first defensive barrier against the harmful particles contained in the air. As a consequence, that lymphoid tissue overgrows, occupying a large volume of your throat. That makes more difficult for the nasal breathing, and you make a habit of breathing through your mouth. In order to breathe through your mouth, your lower jaw has to come down, as well as your tongue has to rest on the floor of your mouth. Breathing through the nose is the correct way, and so the tongue is able to rest on your palate, stimulating a normal growth and development of your upper jaw. Conversely, when you breathe through your mouth, your tongue has to descend and protrude. At the same time, the pressure of your cheeks increases pushing the upper jaw inwards. So the growth and development of your upper jaw is negatively affected, resulting in a narrow and high palate. The upper dental arch acquires a V-shape instead of being a rounded dental arch. Therefore, your teeth do not have space to properly align. This also produces an incorrect swallowing function. Every time you swallow, between 1,600 to 2,400 times per day, the tongue positions low, staying away from your palate. That forces the tip of your tongue to position between your upper and lower front teeth. That pushes your front teeth to show out of your mouth and your tongue resting on the floor of your mouth with the tip of the tongue between your front teeth. That is called an open bite as your upper and lower front teeth do not touch when you close your mouth. All those dysfunctions, mouth breathing, incorrect tongue posture, open mouth, and incorrect swallowing are going to continue affecting the growth and development of your upper and lower jaws. And as a consequence, there is less room for your teeth and they become crooked. Remember, the nose is for breathing and the mouth is for eating. Breathing through your nose and keeping your mouth closed with your lips together is going to help your upper and lower jaws to grow and develop better. But more importantly, it makes you healthier.